guys so in today's video I wanted to sit down and talk with you guys about something a little bit more serious today's video is going to be about dealing with adrenal insufficiency I thought I wanted to um, talk about this subject and bring some light to this topic because I deal with it every day and um, Hopefully this video can be helpful for you guys, whoever's dealing with the same problem that I'm dealing with and how I am coping with it and how I'm maintaining my lifestyle and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. So enough talking, let's get straight into this video. Starting off with what is adrenal insufficiency or just adrenal dysfunction or it's also known as Addison's disease. If you um, got diagnosed with this, basically what it is, a normal person produces stress hormones such as cortisol or adrenaline to help your body deal with the stresses of everyday life and stuff like that. Such as, you know, as simple as getting a cold to as dramatic as like surgery or um, giving birth, stuff like that, stuff that would put stress and strain on your body. Your body just normally secretes these hormones to prepare and um, help your body deal with it. When you have adrenal insufficiency or adrenal dysfunction, you do not produce these hormones. So what happens is when you do not produce these hormones, your body can go into shock and it can shut down, leading into a coma. That's basically what adrenal insufficiency is. I will have a medical term at the bottom of the screen for you guys to check out, as well as links down below for you guys to read and do more research on your own. I guess I'll start with how I found out I had this disease. Um, when I was little, probably like seven, eight, nine, grade school age, I would get episodes where I would feel like dizzy or like I would feel like I was going to faint and um, my parents didn't know what this was my family didn't know what this was so at the time they would just tell me maybe you know maybe you didn't eat today maybe you're hungry maybe that's why you are feeling the way you're feeling and um, you know your body you know like when something feels off or when something feels wrong you know that you know you know yourself um, I would tell my mom, like, listen, this is not because I'm hungry. <laughs> this is not because maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Um, something's really wrong. So this happened three or four more times after the first initial episode happened. The next time this happened, I was at my cousin's house and we had went to the mall. We went shopping. I was, at this point, I was like, I'm going to say 12 years old. Um, I went shopping. And we was in the mall and we was by the food court and I felt myself again feel like I was going to faint so um, when I got back from the mall I told my mom like listen this happened again something's wrong again she told me it was me <laughs> that maybe I didn't eat or I didn't get enough sleep the last and final time that this happened I completely like lost consciousness I blacked out and um, I, this happened when I was with my mom we was in a supermarket parking lot and I passed and collapsed in the parking lot these things are called adrenal crises and basically what this means is when you are experiencing these episodes your body gives warnings warn you like something's wrong you know just to warn you and that's what my body was doing it was warning me it warned me four times and on the fourth time that's when I guess my body couldn't take it anymore and it totally collapsed so um, I was rushed to the hospital and there they did blood work they found out what was wrong with me which was adrenal deficiency so that's how I was diagnosed I had stayed in the hospital for about a good two or three weeks um, just making sure that the medicine that they were giving me was helping and I wouldn't go home and experience the same episode that I had came in with. So the name of the medication that you are put on is a man-made hormone which is called cortisol. It can be Cortef, Solocortef, Cortef, 
or um, cortisol or prednisone. So I went home on prednisone and this medication you have to take for the rest of your life. This is a life um, time illness that you can't cure. So like I said, I was sent home on this medication and I had to take this medication for, well, I'm, I have to take it for the rest of my life. So that is the name of the medication. So there was a couple of more things that my doctor wanted to um, explain to me. Basically, if I ever get a cold, if I have surgery, um, if I am any type of emotional stress, I need to take this medication or increase it. So that's basically what they prescribed me. They also sent me home on an injection, which is a fast-acting injection um, in case, I don't know, in case like there's ever a scenario where my body goes into this crisis mode again. And they also told me to get a medical alert bracelet. This is what it looks like. It just has a medical symbol, you know, the symbols that the doctors have on their badges and stuff like that. So I have a bracelet. I'm supposed to wear it all the time, which I do. And on the back of it, it just has my name, my conditions, the number to my um, any type of a person that's responsible for you or if you want to have them reached in case there is a um, accident and my doctor so like I said I wear this all the time and I can shower with this I can wear it's basically indestructible that's what I'm trying to say so I purchased this off of laurenshope.org I believe I'll leave the link for it if you guys want to get one um, they have necklaces, they have beautiful pieces, beautiful jewelry, and it doesn't look like it's a medical alert bracelet. So that's what I got. Yeah, so they told me that I would have to see an endocrinologist to deal with, um, to, I guess, monitor me, monitor um, me during the year and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing. So the reason why I um, thought to bring this up because... I feel like knowing this could definitely save someone's life and it's imperative to know the signs when you are, I guess, experiencing this type of um, issue. So it's very important to follow the doctor's directions and take your medicine because if you don't take your medicine, your organs can shut down, you can go into a coma, and you can die. So I hope this video wasn't too sad or <laughs> morbid, but um, I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, and hopefully if someone is um, dealing with this out there, they can um, seek help and go to the doctor. Or um, I guess I can friend someone who has the same issue as me. Because uh, it's cool to know that you're not the only one out there dealing with this problem. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very informative and helping you guys, um, whoever's dealing with this, figure out what's wrong and seek medical care. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next week with my new video.